This is a demonstration video of the prototype cell phone and tablet integrated nano sensor device from Dr. No Sang Myung's lab in the Chemical and Environmental Engineering Department at the University of California, Riverside. This device consists of an Arduino Nano microcontroller, a Bluetooth module, a 5 volt battery, a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, and this connector here consists of a disposable sensor chip. The sensing elements of the chip are a base of single walled carbon nanotube, which are decorated electrochemically with the metal oxides like zinc oxide, tin oxide, and conductive polymers, polypyrrole, and a variety of porphyrins. The target analytes vary from permanent gases such as ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen dioxide, and so on, to volatile organic compounds such as acetone, methanol, ethanol, xylene, hydrocarbons, and so on. Here we have an Android-based tablet running software that communicates with the device over Bluetooth. So right now we can connect it. And after it's connected, we can go to the settings tab. Over here, there are eight channels on the microcontroller. And we have the first five set up to the chip. And the last two are for humidity and temperature. So if we check all of them, and then we can hit start pulling and go back to the graph. So right here you can see the resistance of the chip, and if we breathe on it, it should react. So if we go back to the settings, and then check the auto scaling, it'll automatically zoom the window to fit. And another thing we can do is we can just view a single channel by just checking one pin. And if we tap on it, it shows us the humidity, which also reacts accordingly. And we tap on it again. There's the temperature reading, which right now is at about 24 degrees Celsius. Once you're done, you can just hit stop. And you can go to the third tab, which is email. And you can actually email the data to yourself. Hit send. Pick the program you want to use. And as you can see, it attaches each of the files as a text, and it has the time and the resistance, and can be easily copied into any program such as Excel or any other graphing program. This concludes the demonstration.